Yo, what I guess back here for another episode of uh, Scooby Doo Mystery Incorporated. It's gonna be our season one, episode two, The Creeping Creatures. Last episode, we had the whole gang getting introduced. Uh, they have already been solving mysteries for maybe a couple days or something. They're fairly new. They got the mystery machine and everything, Crystal Cove. Uh, apparently, there's some ancient whatever family that went missing a long time ago. Something, something, something. I don't know. It was a bunch of setups and lore. They found like a, a locket in the in the caves. <laughs> And uh, two like two people. Uh, there, there was this goo monster trying to rob a bank. <laughs> I think that was the no most normal thing there. I ended up being the teacher because he needed more pay. See, we could have just fixed that by paying him more. Not even that much more, I bet. My favorite character so far has to be Daffy. She just puts up numbers. Uh, Fred, bottom of the barrel. Your traps don't even work, and that's what you're there for. Uh, I I'm still heated. I'm still. Let's just let's go. Let's go. Wait, population is three. Turn around. <laughs> Let's not waste our time here. Are you sure this is New York City? Yeah, absolutely. Now, if I'm not mistaken, this here is uh, Broadway. What's that street sign? New York City. <laughs> How, how'd you... How'd you mess that up? Hello, anybody there? Hello? Pedals! Come back! What about pedals? Okay, never mind. <laughs> uh, let's just say I'd be coming back. Uh, I'm not about to leave my, my baggage there. I spent too much money on that. <laughs> no, sir. <laughs> Whose house is this? Oh, I am so bored. Is it Fred? We haven't had a good mystery and I don't know when. What's that? So everybody's rich nowadays, huh? Traps Illustrated? Freddy. It's where I got the idea for this little beauty. Who do you expect to trap outside your front door? Bro, I wouldn't even want to visit your house. I got a package for uh, Fred Jones. Hey, that's me. What is it? Like, um, I think it's a box. Kick him out the group. <laughs> I'm done with that, man. Saved this for a rainy day. Enjoy. <laughs> Mr. E gives me the creeps. Check it out. 100% pure gator made in Gatorsburg. Gatorsburg? Gatorsburg was founded back in the 1800s when a group of prospectors searching for gold struck something much more valuable. Alligator. Overnight, Gatorsburg became a boom town. The town became oh. famous for its gator skin products. <laughs> Buffoons. Civilization is founded on an entirely gator-based economy. All right, hey, man, Velma. Let's split up and look for clues. No. This guy says split up. I hate those words. Come on, I'm from a scoob. I didn't touch it. Like, dude, how about we check out Gatorbird? <gasps> like jackpot, Scooby-Doo. <laughs> I'm like... Nope. Even you guys can't eat that. What is wrong with you guys? We need to talk. Velma, like, I would love to, but, like, I can't hear anything over the sound of my own stomach. Like, Velma, what did I do? Nothing. You didn't do anything. Let's go, gang. There's nothing to trap here. Looks like Mr. E sent us on a walk. Yeah, nothing to trap here. <laughs> Can you tell what the problem is, Fred? You see that hole there? That should be an engine. <laughs> <laughs> How does your engine get robbed? You kids are in some serious trouble. Now tell me what you're doing in Gatorsburg. Our van broke down. Man, man, Freddy got scared. What size is your ring finger? Why the heck should I help you? Because whoa, whoa. you're a mechanic? Is your problem. Engine's missing. Oh my god. I'm gonna have to order a new one from Crystal Cove. Seeing as that's over three miles away. It won't arrive until morning. Three miles away is not even crazy. <laughs> I could walk that. Hey, Mom, we're stuck in Gatorsburg. The van broke down. Think you could come and get us? 
Oh, I wish I could. But tonight's race night. You know me and horses. Oh, sweetie, it's dark out. I can't go out in the dark. All right, your parents are useless. <laughs> My sister Greta runs the best in town. The drowsy gator. How about you drive us back to Christopher, bro? <laughs> I'll pay you. <laughs> How much you want? The mm -hmm. dog? Oh. Scooby, a matter of fact, you can run at a clock in at least double my speed. You can get a Crystal Cove in like 30 minutes less. We ain't got no rooms. But your sign in the window says vacancy. I'm sorry, who's taking up all your rooms? See, this episode, I don't even have to guess who the villains are. This is too damn obvious. Your last names are Gator and you live in Gatorsburg? What a coincidence. Yeah, coincidence. Are those claw marks? I don't see any marks. And girls in separate rooms, no exceptions. Then I guess I'm with you, Daphne. I said, no exceptions! That is disrespectful, Velma. You have to swing. Okay. Well, Shag, looks like you, me, and Scooby are in this room. I almost forgot. Rule number three. No pets. Sleep in the mystery machine. It's just one night, Scooby-Doo. I'll see you in the morning, buddy. I hope so. <laughs> That'd have been the exact same way. I'd be like, oh, it's just one night, guys. So why don't you guys come with me? Just one night. <laughs> I raised them a half centimeter to bring out my forehead. Toodles. <laughs> what did I just Where are you hear? Going? I uh forgot something. Move in together? We can get a room just like this. No. Like <laughs> I can't think about that right now, Fred. Like I'm really worried about Scoob. Thank you, Shaggy. At least you're worried. Oh, the, uh, oh. <laughs> Velma. Were you sneaking over to see me? Yeah, of course. What? I'm looking for Velma. Have you seen her? No, but I'm glad you're here. Yeah, looking for Velma for sure, huh? You do? I bet it's filled with wonderful pictures of traps? We use this one to catch the Phantom of Vasquez Castle. Yeah. I Bro, I thought they were going to at least be in the picture. No monsters, no. <laughs> Why'd you get out the car? The car was safe. It's gonna be. I know you need help. But pray, probably don't call for Shaggy. <laughs> Shaggy's gonna look and like and turn the other way. And I left a few pages blank. Like, are they actually going for the kill? I don't understand. It looks like they are, but then why? Tater people. <laughs> Tater people. Yeah, for it. That's what we want. <laughs> Skater people. Gator people. Thank you. Oh my God, Daphne. <laughs> I've got an idea. Quick, guys, to comfort her. <laughs> Maybe they're gone. <laughs> you have to remember, these guys are in high school. If I'm in high school and this happens to me, I'm scared. <laughs> Yeah. Is anybody gonna help her? Thank you, Shaggy. You saved me. Scooby, get behind the wheel. The wheel doesn't. The machine is broken. Which is why we're gonna push it. Look, they're stopping. What happened? I'm allergic to imitation animal skin. So we got phonies. I do, you gator freaks. You're like the ugliest crocodiles ever. Who are you calling a crocodile? No! <laughs> Did 
Okay, Freddy, my bad, bro. I didn't know you were that good. Time to find out who these greedy gators really are. I think we know who they are. Freddy Gator? Greta Gator? Gunter Gator? Wow. So with no alligator, I say we don't care anymore. To make imitation gator products and pass them off as real. That's so much work. Anyone snooping around Gatorsburg. So you created the creeping creatures to scare people away. Would have gotten away with it too if it weren't for you meddling juveniles and your unauthorized investigation of our synthetic... Hey, whoa, 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 whoa. You're not that smart, buddy. Stop using those words. This gator stuff is fake. I paid a fortune for this tracksuit. Sorry, Sheriff. Bro, somebody pointed out that he sounds like Joe Swatson. And now I can't unhear it. The mystery machine isn't... <gasps> so it's so, like there's no engine in the mystery machine. It's from Mr. E. Be warned, there are more mysteries to come. This is only one piece of the puzzle. Puzzle? Alright, great episode there. Alright, this episode wasn't like... I didn't have to try to figure out who the villain was because it was kind of obvious. The population was three. The three people looked like the three villains. <laughs> Now it would have threw me for a loop if like the, what's it called? The mechanic wasn't one of them. Cause his was like, eh, I could see it being somebody else. Like some random guy we haven't met yet. But no, it was all three of them. All right. And they were selling fake leather or whatever, gator products. Honestly, pretty smart. I respect the hustle. You feel me? They weren't hurting nobody, <laughs> honestly. I don't know how Mr. E and it's like, oh, go solve this mystery. This is not even affecting nobody, bro. Why does it even matter? <laughs> like if anything, I'm shocked because I'm, I'm sure they sold like hundreds of products. Nobody found out this was fake Gator and like took them to court or anything. I think that would have been like more logical than Mr. E, some guy pulling everybody's strings like him. Hmm, they need to solve this mat random mystery. You probably heard them. He's like, oh, you guys are bored. I'll, I'll throw you guys something. <laughs> something random. I don't know what's going on here. Fred Jones. Fred Jones. Buddy. <laughs> Do better. I can understand if you're all about traps. But at least you treat Daphne better, bro. You you had her for saving her. Like, ah, oh, Daphne. And you threw her for a book. <laughs> that is crazy. Shaggy, you were a hero today. A hero. And then you had some of the dumbest lines ever. I'm like, there's no way you're that dumb, right? <laughs> uh, Scooby, felt bad for you. Well, I would never sleep in that car. I don't even care. I would have snuck into their room somehow. Like, who's going to find out? Uh, Velma? You deserve better. You are about action this episode. I saw you swing that pole at that goddamn alligator. But yeah, you're about action. And they almost took you out. They grabbed you through the, th the board? The floorboard or whatever? Oh my, my. Great episode. Thank you guys for watching. Really appreciate it. Catch you guys next time for another. Peace, peace, bye, bye. Have a great day. The gang is all here, man. And they doing numbers.